Hello everybody, it is Bazinga here, and today I'm bringing you a FIFA 13 demo video, and first of all I'm going to run over my thoughts and overview of the demo so far, because I have played many games uh, throughout the day, and it is still the 11th at 10pm at night, so I have played multiple games, I downloaded it around 4 o'clock, and I've been set on it ever since, so let's start off with my overall opinion on the design, EA have upped their design uh, sort of techniques uh, tenfold since last year, as you can see the menus do look absolutely delicious now and it depends what color it is I've got white and blue at the moment because I did choose Manchester City as the team that I was going to play with so as you can see let's start off and just go into some of the options on the menu as you can see you can see the ultimate team layout for FIFA 13 and I must say it does look much cleaner and much smoother to work around than FIFA 12s uh, most of you coming back to FIFA will know about Ultimate Team, especially all the avid Ultimate Team fans. There is no single matches now, I believe, but as you can see, online seasons and single player seasons are new things. And to confirm about FIFA points on console, as you can see, it is up in the top right corner that FIFA points will be indeed on the console. So moving on, just going through all the other menu sort of options. As you can see, seasons tells you a brief overview of all the different game modes that will be in FIFA as always. There's EA information and stuff like that. Don't need to to see that but as you can see skill games gives you a brief overview over the skill games and also you can pop into the arena on the demo and uh, I must say this arena is much better than uh, last year's you could change the arena I believe on FIFA 12 I'm wondering if you can change the arena on this game but uh, it, look, it does look pretty nice anyway I'm pretty sure that I won't change it at all but uh, yeah very nice looking indeed so moving over let's start straight off and go into EA Sports Match Day now this is a new feature in FIFA 13 that they have put in this year so as you can see we'll just pop into live fixtures live fixtures follow the heartbeat of the real football season by playing one of the team's upcoming matches taken from their friends list and I believe this is a great addition to the EA Sports uh, Football Club sort of feature that they had introduced in into FIFA 12 because if you are an avid football fan and you support your club a lot uh, with an upcoming fixture you will actually uh, you could play and predict your results maybe it could be a new series on YouTube for a couple of guys would be pretty fun to do <clears throat> So moving on, we'll go on to Games of the Week. So now, as you can see, Games of the Week will showcase the top matches from around the globe each week as our featured Games of the Week. And then on the right, it says, shows how many players have been improved or reduced in form that week. And that is a new uh, feature with Match Day. Actually, lowers the players' ratings or ups the players' ratings, depending on how they're doing week in and week out. <coughs> So now we'll move over into kickoff. The kickoff is the only mode that is playable in the demo, unfortunately. Here it goes, just telling you about all the different gameplay and what has been changed this year. So we'll pop into the kickoff menu. So straight away, as you can see, you normal select sides option, and uh, this might looks much cleaner than last year's as well. So we'll pop straight in and choose the controller. So now, as you can see, you can either decide to choose match day off or on. And as you can see, it does tell you the team form: draw, win, draw, loss, loss for Manchester City, and draw, win, win, loss, loss for Arsenal. You can also turn match day off. But uh, when you turn match day on, uh, unfortunately Sergio Aguero comes off of the Manchester City list because he has been injured for, uh, I believe it was in the first game of the season. So starting off, I'm going to run through the teams that are on the demo. So first of all, as you can see, Manchester City, Juventus, Dortmund, uh, Arsenal, Milan, Man Manchester City. So it's quite... Uh, a couple of good teams. So first of all, we'll pop onto Milan because there is a couple of things that I wanted to run through with their team. So as you can see, we'll just pop in and uh, some surprising things with Milan this year. Of course, they've lost Thiago Silva and Ibrahimovic, but a big thing that uh, sort of uh, annoyed me, well, not that I'm a massive skiller, but I did enjoy pulling off the odd skill with Alexandra Power has now been dropped to a four star, but uh, I suppose four star is roughly accurate. There's only, uh, EA did say they were trying to tone down the amount of uh, five-star skillers in FIFA 13, and I sort of agree with their decision. But as you can see, Pato is definitely not in form. Look, his marking has been dropped by nine, but I suppose he is an attacking player, so it doesn't really matter about that. Uh, his stand tag was dropped by nine, everything like that. And uh, Kevin Prince Boateng is in form at the moment, and as you can see, he has been up to a four-star skiller. <coughs> So that is sort of information covering over Milan, who I wanted just to tell you guys about. So uh, we'll start off with Manchester City, and we'll go straight into their team at the moment. So as you can see in team management, a lot of Manchester City's players are actually in form at the moment. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven. And uh, as you can see, uh, Carlos Tevez has been upped by three. His overall would normally be 86, but he has been pushed up to an 89 purely because of match day. And uh, as you can see, as you, like I said, oh no, wait, Sergio Aguero is on the bench with match day. I didn't really notice that before. So we'll put him into the team and uh, I'm going to play a quick match guys and I'll just get, I'll record and get the highlights out and uh, we will commentate over the gameplay then. I will see you guys in one second. Right, I'm back guys and now we are going to be talking over some of the gameplay from FIFA 13 on the demo. So as you can see now, this is the penalty actual skill game before you go into a match. Now instead of just playing around in the arena before a match, you actually get set up with a randomly selected uh, skill game. And I must say these are, I, would, I, I thought I would use them as more of like a time passer. Uh, like just in case I get bored of playing FIFA maybe in the future when the game comes out I thought I was going to maybe uh, just play them just for fun and uh, just to keep my boredom away from FIFA but I must say they are incredibly fun and I do really enjoy playing them and as you can see there you do get the little blue target on the demo I'm not too sure if you'll get it in the actual game but you do in the demo and I do must say these are really fun as you can see you can press start to play at any time but I just thought I'd play all the skill game through just so you guys could see what it's actually about as you can see there, I just missed by a slight bit and hit the post, but it still went in. But yeah, as you can see, there's all different targets placed around the goal, and I'm guessing these all just train you up for future reference when you're in a match and you get penalties and stuff like that. So moving on to the next clip just about to come up now. As you can see, the FIFA 13 sort of like intro to the game is so much nicer than FIFA 12's. The new uh, sort of hexagonic, uh, sort of hexagon, <laughs> hexagon graphic does look really, really nice, and I must say, this year, I think FIFA have upped their graphics maybe a little bit. I feel, and their cutscenes like these, all their cutscenes, the sound on this game is insane too. I was, I, that's another thing. Small details like that, I really do pay attention to. So now, when there's the cinematic in the tunnel, you do actually hear the boots of the players coming down the tunnel. And these cinematics, uh, I did say when I done a PES 13 demo impression video that I do wish FIFA would make. Uh, more type of cutscenes instead of them uh, like the normal ones on FIFA 12. So coming up, as you can see, this is a great run from Tevez, as you can see, into the box. This is part of the attacking AI engine they have just put into FIFA. And uh, these are just a few clips. I think I scored a really, really, really sweaty header. But as you can see, uh, this look, look at the run from Nasri straight into the box. Bang, gets his head on it. I'm not too sure why the keeper was so slow to react, but it was. Yeah, I think the keeper should have saved it, but... As you can see, uh, I think we get another attack here. This was me just trying to see if the overpowered finesse shot was back. And I, honestly, truthfully, it definitely isn't. The, the finesse has com been completely removed from the game. As you can see there, just a cheeky little roulette from Aguero on Nasri, I believe it was. And then, uh, no, it was Nasri coming in on the rebound. Here's me trying for that finesse again. As you can see, nearly popped in. And this is the injury animation. Arteta actually fell on his shoulder, I believe. And as you can see, the um, like the impact engine and stuff like that has really been upped since last year. And uh, he actually holds the part of his body that he has hurt. There's me trying to go for a cheeky good goal whilst I was playing in the matches that I said I was going to in the last bit of the commentary. But uh, the shooting on single player isn't too good. But on the ultimate team, it is beast. And then here's another really poor save from the goal keeper to let Sergio Aguero in for the header so moving on now we have the shooting uh, skill game this was set up before the second match I played I decided to play two, much, two matches just to let you guys get sort of a feel for the game so as you can see press B to take a shot at goal the longer you hold B the harder your shot will be and stuff like that so you run into this sort of area as you can see I just missed by a slight bit there and I decided to start going for the finesses and that was a lovely target shot there 2,000 points just for that one shot and uh, yeah you run into the area that is highlighted by the dashes and cones and you take your shot at goal and you try and hit the targets you best you can uh, I think you get more points for hitting uh, near the bullseye of the target that I think you get like 500 points if you hit near the outside of the target which isn't the best but uh, I always try and aim for the center so as you can see I got 7,000 points there I think bronze level is 5,000 points I think I can see on my screen right now but yeah, all the skill games are really quite fun. Like I said earlier, I did really enjoy playing them. And uh, quite different from what I really um, expected from the skill games. I thought they would be... Uh, pretty just much of a, a fun sort of time. But as you can see here, I think we start off this game with another header as well. There's a lovely run from Milner, and he takes a shot of goal, keeper saves it, and then there's another 
terrific, terrific, not terrific, horrific save from the goalkeeper for, from Arsenal too. The celebrations on this game do look much better and I must say the graphics, like I said earlier, do look a lot smoother compared to FIFA 12s. So as you can see there, Tevez just hit the crossbar with that cheeky little shot there. I tried to go for a little chip there, maybe a bit ambitious from outside the box, but I do hope you trying to get a feel for the game from these uh, sort of clips here. So as you can see, uh, quite a few of these clips show the first touch control. There's me trying to go for a chip over the keeper as he came out. But there's first touch control as well. Knocked it into the space that I wanted to. Then again with Torre knocking it into the space that I want to put the ball into. I think this was a lovely work goal really. As you can see the attacking AI working very well inside of this goal I believe. Uh, yeah as you can see passes it to Torre. Torre just slots round into the back of the net in the 64th minute. Pretty nice goal. And anyway this is going to wrap up my video guys. I hope you enjoy this last little clip of a roulette and a cheeky shot from Torre. But I do hope you enjoy this video and I will see you guys next time for some more FIFA 13 content. Peace.